Ladies and gentlemen, we have amongst us a distinguished stateswoman. May I now request our Minister of External Affairs, Srimati Shushma Swaraj, to deliver the vote of thanks. Namaskar, good evening. Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, advisor to US President and my dear friend, Ms. Ivanka Trump, Chief Minister of Telangana, Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, my esteemed colleague, Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman, distinguished dignitaries and enthusiastic participants. I am delighted to have this opportunity to participate in the inaugural session of the Global Entrepreneurship Summit 2017 and propose a vote of thanks on behalf of the Government of India. Friends, India is a land of entrepreneurs, and the U.S. is a nation that is identified with the spirit of enterprise. The relations between our two countries have developed into a strategic partnership of global significance. It is therefore eminently appropriate that our two countries have come together to co-host this Global Entrepreneurship Summit. The focus of this summit is on women entrepreneurship. Women entrepreneurs are epitome of courage and leadership. Therefore, empowerment of women is a priority for India and should be a priority for the entire world. Prime Minister Modi quoted from Swami Vivekanand. I'm again quoting Swami Vivekanand. I quote, there is no chance for the welfare of the world unless the condition of woman is improved. It is not possible for a bird to fly on only one wing. I would like to thank Prime Minister Modi for his leadership and guidance, as well as for outlining his vision to this global audience. Under his leadership, our government has embarked upon ambitious programs for empowerment of women and promotion of entrepreneurship and skill development in India. We seek to do this not only for our 1.25 billion strong population, but also for our partners in line with our mantra of Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas, that means together we shall prosper. I would like to thank Ms. Ivanka Trump, who is a co-host of this summit. She represents the energy and spirit of an entrepreneur that characterizes the youth of today. She's a passionate advocate of education and empowerment of women and girls. Her keen interest in these issues has helped shape the agenda for this summit. I'm sure her presence will inspire women entrepreneurs from India and across the world. We appreciate the efforts of government of the United States and its leadership in promoting entrepreneurship globally. We deeply value the strong desire of President Trump to further strengthen partnership with India, which we fully share. I have no doubt that under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi and President Trump, India-U.S. relations will scale new heights and contribute to global peace and prosperity. I would like to express our deep gratitude to the government and people of Telangana for hosting this summit. Hyderabad embodies the spirit of entrepreneurship. 
it is also i am chinnamma of telangana therefore i can say therefore i can very proudly say that it is also a perfect mix of traditionalism and modernism friends this summit would not have been possible without the meticulous organization by niti aayog therefore my special thanks to shri rajiv kumar the vice chairman shri amitabh kant ceo and the entire team of niti aayog for successfully organizing this event now i would like to thank all the participants of this summit this summit is primarily for you and will be a success if it is able to meet your expectations we have worked hard to ensure that your experience is substantive and productive our special appreciation is for our foreign participants who have traveled long distances to be present here we would like you to go back with pleasant memories and new partnerships last but not the least i would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to all the officials and volunteers from india and the united states who have worked hard for months to make this summit happen and the results are there for everyone to see friends we have begun the summit with a spectacular opening and i wish you productive deliberations over the next two days once again my sincere thanks to all those who have assembled here thank you namaskar thank you honorable minister